Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. This is a short video from myself, Alex Leet. I'm one of the co-owners of Global River Cruising about springtime river cruising and what you can expect to see, do, and what actually we mean by river cruising in the spring. And also we'll finish off with some really, really great offers that we've got for uh, you at the moment that I'll have at the end of the video. So without further ado, I know we're all busy, let's get into it and find out about what an actual springtime river cruise is. So this is a map showing you where we're going to go on our lovely springtime river cruise. Normally when we're talking about going in the spring we're talking about March, April and May and in Europe we're looking at the waterways of Holland and Belgium. So this little map gives you an idea of the sort of places that you're going to see. So normally there'll be a seven night itinerary round trip from Amsterdam and we're we'll going into places that you wouldn't normally get to during the main uh, river cruising season when you're going further down the Rhine and the Danube. So here we're going from Amsterdam up to fishing village of Horn. Uh, other places you will see will be Kirkenhof, which we'll talk about in a minute. Kinderdijk, again where the windmills are, you've probably heard of that. Delft with the pottery. Uh, Rotterdam, which is a, an amazing modern city. Uh, and then going into Belgium as well and going to Bruges and Ghent. And so and then getting back up to Amsterdam. So what are we going to see on this wonderful cruise of ours? Well, Amsterdam, we mentioned, one of the great cities of Europe and from the UK, really, really close, really accessible. You've also got a big regional flying programs, which means that, you know, for once you might be able to get a direct flight to get to Amsterdam city. Amsterdam, obviously very well known for its canals and its waterways that the city is built around. Uh, and in the springtime, as you can see from this picture, we've got the leaves starting to come out, not as busy, beautiful time to go down the, the canals of Amsterdam. Here we have one of the most famous museums in Amsterdam as well, uh, the Rijksmuseum. I mean, you could spend a whole week in there on your own, um, but uh, obviously if you're in Amsterdam, this is one of the highlights of your trip as well. Um, and just, uh, just an amazing place to visit. I mentioned Kirkenhof Gardens. I think really this is what we're talking about when we're talking about going to this area of the world at this time of year. Kirkenhof people have heard of. It's a massive, massive market garden where you can see tulips as far as the eye can see. It is something that is on a lot of people's bucket lists, especially gardeners. Um, you know, the merchants that come here have been coming here for a very long time. It opens sort of uh, around the 15th of March each year and goes to the start of May. It depends on the time that you go as to what you'll see. But the idea behind the gardens is there's these really ornate floral displays that are there for the tulip merchants to basically show off their wares to people that would like to buy them. And so the blooms are changing. Uh, what you can see is changing. Uh, the displays are ever more wonderful. I mean, this is actually in Kirkenhof itself. As you can see, we've got a display here with a, with a windmill in the middle of it as well. So usually you can get round it in a about half a day and most of the river cruise itineraries at this time of year would include this as part of their their bucket list as I say you know it's not far from Amsterdam so you could do it independently if you wanted um, but um, you know as part of that feeling that spring is opening up and things are starting again then Kirkenhof is definitely definitely one of the highlights I mentioned Horn, which is one of the fishing villages. Again, you can see the similar style of housing in this area, the, the pointy houses, the merchants' houses for the port. Uh, it really feels like you're going to a bit of a bygone era uh, with these kind of sailing vessels that are there. Really, really pretty. And again, this area is really flat. And so that means it's absolutely ideal for cycling around. And most river cruise ships, when they're in the luxury bracket, will have bicycles on board so you can get to see a lot more. And obviously in the Netherlands, the cyclist is absolutely king. So even if you've not been on a bike for a few years and you're a bit wobbly like I was, then you'll be absolutely fine because the motorists just let you do whatever you want to do. It's just quite, uh, quite a magical place. Then once we've moved from the Netherlands into Belgium, again, on, other, on people's bucket lists, usually is Bruges. A uh, beautiful city um, built on the waterways again. And, and just, it's just so lovely to see it when it's not as busy and the spring colors are coming out. And just, you know, 
it's just a really great way to get into feeling that yes winter's over and we're off again and, and things are, are opening up and it's just going to be an amazing amazing trip i know you're going to enjoy it so why go at this time of year if you haven't considered it before well for really really good reasons it's much less crowded uh, so you will get around the highlights of these areas without having to sort of stand around in queues etc the weather is great for exploring it really really is so you know maybe you're not going to get a suntan uh, but a few extra layers and you'll be good to go so you know really good to be able to get out there with um with the layers on and to go and see the places the springtime colors just give it something else and, and obviously as i've said there are things you can see at this time of year which you wouldn't get to see at other times of year so we've mentioned Kirk and half uh, and in 2022 uh, for the real budding gardeners amongst you Floriad is also on and those two things have a small period where they do overlap in sort of April May time Floriad only happens once every 10 years and it's in um, this brand new city that's um, been built especially for it out of the um, out of the sea in in the Netherlands and it's not far from Amsterdam so again we will be looking at an itinerary where you can include that as well um, in, a, in a minute or two. So again, that's a highlight for 2022 if you really want to do that and be into your gardening. Uh, and also going earlier in the year, it would be silly not to mention that you're on the same ships, uh, you're seeing uh, you know the same sort of places, uh, but uh, obviously apart from things like Kirkenhof and the, the Floriad, but great, great prices just because the weather is not guaranteed, you know, nailed on sunshine and heat. Uh, people, the, the most um, busiest times of river cruising are actually June and September because uh, people think that's, you know, that's the right temperature, etc. You will get some really, really good prices at this time of year. And especially if you haven't thought of going at this time before, um, you know, it could be well worthwhile for you and, and mean that you get an extra holiday uh, this coming year. So that's all the great reasons. So let's have a little look at one of our offers at the moment, um, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, we have got some really good offers and I do want to tell you about them. Um, so forgive me, uh, but uh, if you like the stuff that we were talking about there, then I think you're really gonna like these offers. So the first one I'm gonna look at for you is to look at Amma Waterways. Uh, Ammo Waterways are one of the uh, luxury operators that we deal with and many, many happy clients over many, many years. Very, very happy to recommend Ammo Waterways. They win awards for their ships um, with Berlitz uh, every year and have the, the best river cruise ship um, according to Berlitz in the Ammo Christina. Um, but some of the river cruise ships that they have in this area at this time are also the same design. They have something called a signature twin balcony stateroom, which means that um, if we uh, look at the actual ships themselves, uh, so bear with me a second, I'll get you on to get you on to that if I can share my screen, and we'll just have a look at one of the Amber Waterways Amber Waterways ships in a second. Um, but their their inclusions are great. Uh, they are at the higher end. Uh, they're not all inclusive, but really the package um, does pretty much give you everything that you would actually want. So here we go. If we just uh, have a look at my screen here for this Tulip Town Cruise. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so we've got an Amsterdam round trip, as I said, and we're going to have a look at the ship. Um, that's the Amma Christina, but one of the ships we've got featured is the Amamora. Um, beautiful luxury ship where you're going to get um, your dining, you've got a gym there, etc. And let me just show you one of their signature cabins, which has got the twin balcony. So 235 square feet, um, and you can see here a little bit better on this other one, which is slightly smaller, um, which has got a, a French balcony here and an actual sit-out balcony here as well. Um, so flat screen televisions, um, Wi-Fi in the rooms, uh, just beautiful ship um, and things that you can do. The other thing that Amma are really good for is the actual excursions that you will uh, get on the actual Amma itineraries as well. So if we have a look at the day by day, you can see what you're going to do. On this one, we're going to Horn, as I mentioned. So you've got the D Dutch East India Museum there as well. That was what I was trying to think of, that sort of period in time. Um, and then we're going to the Delta Works. 
um, you can look at Middleburg, Ghent as well, Antwerp, and uh, there's some just some amazing things that you're going to get to see. Uh, and then we've got Rotterdam, Kinderdijk with the windmills, and then Amsterdam, and of course we are going to go to Kirkenhof when we're back in, in Amsterdam. So that's one of the itineraries with AMA, but the offer that I wanted to tell you about is their offer of, which is basically giving you one of those twin balcony cabins for 2999 per person which is going to include your flights as well um, and your transfers from the UK so you've got your seven night cruise um, there are selected dates in March and April that you can do this and it's on a first come first serve basis so they're working from the top of the ship down so the very best cabins up to a double A grade so we're not doing the sweets on this let's not we, we won't go completely mad but a double A grade which as I said 235 square feet you will be able to get for 2999 while stocks last and this is a special offer that's only on until the 30th of December 20, sorry 30th of November 2021 so I guess it's a sort of a Black Friday thing but it's an incredible offer all your food and drink uh, on board all your excursions you've got a sip and sail cocktail hour before dinner as well where you've got your drinks included um, and as I say it just you know it's just a really luxurious experience and you'll have a fantastic time now I did also mention that there might be some other offers um, and the other offer that I was really particularly interested in showing you was a slightly longer itinerary as well because we mentioned about things like Bruges and the Floriad um, so what I wanted to show you really was this one from Scenic which has caught my eye so it's it's a longer holiday it's a seven night itinerary on the ship with the add-on in Bruges so a hotel stay in Bruges so not only if you can see the price there I mean obviously that's a lower deck cabin um, and it is all inclusive so you know if we get up the decks then we're going to see a significant jump in price um, but for that day you can see we've got these various things going on like the Delft uh, pottery we've got the Delta works again Antwerp and one of the things that um, and Horn these are the sort of the excursions that we're seeing but one of the things that scenic do do if I can find it is it gone uh, is this enrich experience so we're saying here that the thing that really makes this river cruise itinerary stand out is that we're actually getting treated to a choir performance in the uh, Dutch Reformed Church of Oosterkirk. Okay, so that's a special exclusive for scenic guests. So if we just have a quick look at the pricing, you can see that's for the lower deck on that date. Um, and whether you get to Kirkenhof on that date, we'd have to interrogate. But you see, that's, that's the lower deck cabin price. So if you were going to go up a deck... Um, on these particular dates oh, and we just hopefully we're going to get to it um, you can see there's not much availability already on that so it is taking it a little bit up again but that is an 11 day holiday and it is all inclusive so if you were interested in looking at that we can mix and match and see uh, what's going to suit you best so I hope that that has given you a little bit of an insight into what springtime river cruising is we love it it's brilliant because it means that the, you know the world is opening up again and these areas are so beautiful that it just has to be seen to be believed so if you would like to go we're here to answer all your questions i've been on a couple of these so even though i may not have mentioned various places uh, to try and keep this video as short as possible although i've not done a great job of that uh, we'd love to talk you through it all so thanks for listening and if you want to get in touch we're globalrivercruising.co.uk that's 0800 471 4754 thanks